Hello there, how are you all doing? Uh, welcome again to another series of our uh, technological... <laughs> I don't even know the word to use again. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you something really cool. Uh, it's how do we turn our laptop into a drawing pad. So you use a drawing pad basically to draw as the name suggests. So you could draw ranging from whatever, from paintings down to animations to cartoons, whatever it is that you want to draw. And then, but these things can be quite expensive. And then, uh, so you need to be creative and look for ways of actually getting what you want with the little resources that you have available. Yeah. And then, so how do we turn our laptop into a drawing pad? It might not be as efficient as a drawing pad, but it, it can be close to that and do the work that we want it to do for us. And then the tool that we're going to use or the secret that we're going to use is a pen. Yeah, just a pen. Okay. So what is special about this pen is that you could get this pen in the store, but some sell it for 10, some for $25. So any store you go to. So what's sensitive about, what's unique about the pen is this portion of it here. Yeah. You see? So that makes it what uh, sensitive, amen. Uh, that that's that's what actually allows you to put your hand on the pen, and then the charges from your hand flows into the pen, and then you are able to put it on the touchpad, and then it works just as if you are putting your finger. So when you put your finger on the touchpad, uh, it is sensitive enough to detect that okay, this is this is this is this is this is a this is a finger or this is a hand. This is something that charges are flowing through. Okay, so let me move the mouse according to how the the hand the finger moves it. So the same thing that this does for you. So it's acting like a pen for you. It's acting like your finger, but now in a pen version. So you could actually do some drawings on it. So you see, it even works uh, with even, I don't know if you've seen this, it even works with the phone. So you go do the same thing. So the same thing I'm doing with my hand in that I'm moving my hand is the same thing that I'm also doing with the, with the phone. So you see, so it works perfectly well. So you could use this and then try to do some cool drawings here. So if you know it's difficult for you to afford the canvas that you can use to draw, afford the painting materials, you could switch into this, just have a pen, have your laptop that has a touchpad. Obviously, most laptops have a touchpad. And then uh, you just start drawing. And then the software that we'll be using is just GIMP. You could use Krita. It's a painting specially made for painting and also some bit of animation here but it's more for painting and then it does some drawing but I prefer game it works smoothly with the pen you know the pen is not actually meant for that but it works well with it and um, you could even use the Microsoft Paint to do some cool drawings but you know as you progress you need something more more advanced so game is a free version of Photoshop so if you know you can buy the Photoshop or you can afford it you can just use you can switch to GIMP it does exactly what Photoshop can do basically okay and uh so let's hop into it and i'll show you some of the cool stuffs that we can do it in uh, bear in mind i'm still a learner so i'm still working on uh, painting and drawing so in using the using this because it's not that the same as actually drawing with a pencil or with a pen or something like that but uh we go into it okay hi guys uh let me just take you quickly through how i use the pen so this this is the just pen so you just have to put it over the touch pad and then just start drawing oh sorry i was paint, painting you take it to the let me select the pen the brush too and then you just start drawing whatever you want to draw you see okay so you can use your hand to move over the cursor so if you don't want to click on the drawing or you can even use this to move the cursor too and then if there's somewhere you want to draw you just start the, the drawing whatever it is so that's that's just how i use it so but you can also use your hand then to press the to move it so i'm using my other hand to hold the camera so it's difficult so you could press the equal right equal left click and then draw so that you have like so you have more control but you can also do it anyway it's gonna work so that's just it so let's move into some drawing okay i was just doing this before we started the, the tutorial yeah i was feeling sleepy so <laughs> i was feeling sleepy so i just decided to do this i don't want to sleep yet so uh let's move into the tutorial thank you hello there how are you doing 
uh, today we're gonna do something really cool. That is, back to the tutorial. We're gonna do some drawings. And uh, if you watch the previous section of the video, I showed you how to use the how to use the pen. And uh, this was just some of the things I was doing quickly today. And uh, I'm not a perfect painter, but the the what I'm trying to portray out here is just that. Um, you can use the laptop to do painting as if you were doing the painting real life on a canvas. So that's it. So and you practically just you don't even need to get a canvas. You don't even need to buy paint. You don't need to buy the oil and all of those things. You just need a single pen, and it costs like twenty-five dollars. And your laptop, and then you can start doing your drawing. And uh, I'm using GIMP. GIMP, uh, where is it? Yeah. Where is the icon? Okay, so this is the icon. This, so this is what I'm using to do. Oh, sorry. This is what I'm. This is what I'm using to do the drawings. So GIMP, it's it works much smoother with the with the with the laptop. And uh, uh, some, um, I did this with Krita. Yeah, but I deleted the creator off, so I don't have this, 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 this painting again. So, so what we can do is just create something new, create a new file. Just Control N. See, or you can. So currently, I'm using the pen to move the cursor. I'm not even using my finger. So just a new. There are different templates you could choose, but you could also just go with the default size. This is size of a website, in fact, the web page dimension. Okay, so we have the brush here. These are the brush tool. This is the paint tool and uh, that's the eraser. You may, you may have to use this tree most of the of the time. Uh, so I just use this area to practice. Then later, once you're comfortable with this, then you move into a much more advanced application like um, like Moho, where you can do your drawings or tune booms or even flash, and then you try and animate some cool stuff and um, so that's it so you you click the pen and then you could choose to do whatever you want to do but you could go to the color just click on this palette here and change the color to black complete black here and then we could just start our drawing you see so I'm I'm, I'm not um, using the pen now so you see So I'm just giving an overview quickly of what you can do. I'm not even clicking the the. I'm not even left clicking or anything. So if I want to select, I just double click to continue with the drawing. If I don't want to draw, I just move the cursor without pressing it, without double clicking, and then you just move around with them. So we have that. We have something simple like that. See, so we could go to the color, give this a, give it a color, and then just click on it. Yeah, so you see, I have that. You gave it some. Uh, so I don't know if there are people with yellow here. So there we go. There we have it. So this is just a quick quick drawing okay so we have that there uh, so we still have the previous color here just like that one and then paste that out there go back to the drawing pin select the black color and then okay like this. Mm -hmm. so it's up to you what you actually want to do what you're looking for so you could, these are the types of brush types you have. So you could come, uh, where is it here? And then you can increase the size of the brush. See? Uh, it, it looks too hard. So you can reduce the force and the hardness. See? So if you want to draw something, maybe the portrait something out. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing now, but we'll see how things turn out. And um, I'm 
Mm, let's see, maybe green. I'm thinking of a palm tree. I don't know. Should I have used the green color or something like that? But I'm just doing this so that you see it how it blends with the way you paint. And it works perfectly well. And uh, I should have selected the color before. Uh, Okay. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment down what you think this is because I don't even know what I'm drawing. Um, so that's it. Okay. Let's increase the hardness. The force, the force rather. Mm, that's too much. So this gives a little bit of blurriness to it. So you could apply this perhaps when you're drawing something at night and then it gives us this kind of mood that makes it so so it depends on your imagination. And then you could go with something really cool. Okay. So we can see the errors, the, the parts that need to be cleared off. Just quickly, so to give you an overview of what you do. So as you go on, you can choose to... Okay, so it's left to you to decide how you explore. And then what you want, what you're trying to paint out to the people. Or what you're trying to illustrate to the, the message you are giving out to people and then uh, it just it depends on you okay so we could have an individual that's okay So it will just it will depend on the message you're trying to portray out. What exactly are you trying to say? Or what exactly are you trying to portray out with the with the drawing you have you just you just made? And uh, so I'm gonna leave you here and then you can go on and explore it. So you just need to get a pen and then you can do the drawing. Um, let's see. So currently I'm doing all of this in one layer, but I should have created a different layer. You see. So that our work doesn't interfere with the others. So it could have have different layers. So it makes the work much more interesting. And then uh, but I'm putting everything in one layer. So so that's it. So you have this. So it just depends on you. You have an idea that you want to portray out to the people through paint. You have an idea that you want to portray out and then go for it. So, so in subsequent uh, tutorials, uh, we'll be doing some animation with this. So we we'll draw some figures and animate them. Okay. So watch out for the next tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll be, we'll continue with our prototyping of the Google Chrome using Adobe XD. So it, don't forget to subscribe and share share the video. Subscribe rather and share the video with your fellow friends. And uh, you can check us on Facebook too. That's Blessing John Serge. So till we meet again some other time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for staying with me. Our channel. God bless you. Bye. Please, if you really love this video, feel free to subscribe to our channel as we'll be posting more videos. Don't forget to hit the subscription button, the, the like button, and also feel free to share our video with your fellow friends so that they could get it and learn something and then start to bring out the portion in you. Many love to draw, but they don't have the means of actually drawing or putting that putting that skill into practice. So this is a very good avenue for just get a pen, you have a laptop, 
start drawing the drawing. Simple as that. Okay. So, still I see you next time again. God bless you.